after eight in the morning on a Saturday. This is the beginning of a pretty big, epic, yeah, I'll call it epic, uh, two-day road trip. I'm leaving Lafayette, Louisiana. I'm going to Mamou uh, to hear some of the radio broadcasts from Fred's Lounge. Uh, this bar has been broadcasting live traditional Cajun music pretty much every week uh, since 1962. There was a little break for the pandemic, but they're still going strong. Anyway, um, I wanted to check this out, part of my ongoing research into Cajun radio. Then uh, I'm driving to New Orleans for a dinner party, a woman that I met last time I was in town. Um, she used to be a DJ for a Cajun Zydeco music show out of Slidell. She wants to introduce me to some people. I'm not 100% certain um, if this dinner party is worth a trip all the way to New Orleans, but uh, I'm going to do it nevertheless just for the chance to meet some new people and maybe find some new avenues of research. Anyway, but as I drive from Mamu to New Orleans, I'm considering doing a detour through the town of Kentwood, um, Louisiana, which is apparently the home of Britney Spears. I just learned that the other day. That's not why I'm going. I'm going because there is a statue of uh, General Mouton, uh, who's one of my direct ancestors, uh, General Mouton was a Confederate general. Um, much of the land for what is now Lafayette, Louisiana, used to be an area called Vermilionville. Much of it was donated by the Mouton family, um, who again, I'm related to. So anyway, this big statue used to be in front of downtown Lafayette and in front of the city hall. And a few years ago, they moved it out to this, uh, I think it was a training camp or like a, a place where Confederate soldiers would learn to soldier, I guess, and now they made it kind of a little Confederate memorial. Um, anyway, the statue is there. This is probably the only opportunity, at least the only opportunity I can foresee where I might ever have a time and a chance to go to Kentwood to see the statue, so I'm going to do that either today or tomorrow, and then on Sunday, if you're tracking all this, on Sunday, I'm driving back to Houston, which is only a couple of hours, you know, maybe four or five hours, um, Inshallah, if I don't hit traffic, um, probably six hours, maybe with the six or seven hours with a couple of scenic detours and biology breaks and some food and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, that's what I am doing. Uh, wish me luck. All day today, we're celebrating our Cajun and great old heritage. It's Cajun Saturday now until 6 p.m. with nonstop Cajun French hits. We're taking your Cajun music requests as well at 337-363-2124. The legend, 1050 KBPI. Now we go live with your host, Mike Peral to the world's famous Fred's Lounge. Oh, all right, boy, let me come on so far. As my dad is, he's a Fred's Lounge to see Jam Rue, our grand mom, and he sees a big Don Fondo, and his, uh, his amis de la Louisiane, but he represent us for uh, and let me up to me today. Oh, she might have a KVP radio on a wheel plot. Uh, 10.50 a.m. or 107, 107.3 FM. She was on the good day for radio. So, but two short behind. You see, sir, fresh down. Most of you see, that's about 11 hours from there. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Fresh Down. Those of you listening here at the bar, we want to welcome, welcome you to the Fresh Down. This is 32 ounce. Uh, 32 ounce to 32 to all right, that was the broadcast from Fred's Lounge. I'm leaving Fred's Lounge. I was there for maybe a little bit less than an hour. Before I went in, I went to a little meat market and bought some boudin. I'm going to bring that to my friends in New Orleans. A uh, little gift, just, you know, some thank you for letting me stay at their place. And, um, yeah, oh, the band, Don Fontenot and the band, or Don Fontenot's band, whatever they're called, they did the donkey song. It may even be called the donkey. Catch a little ride on the donkey, donkey. I like that song. I really like that song. So uh, it was fun to see. Anyway, now I'm off to uh, New Orleans. I'm going to go through Baton Rouge, do that big drive. We're going to got to go over the, um, I don't know, kind of over the swamp. Uh, it's kind of a nice drive. I'm going to do the Kentwood thing tomorrow. Jamaican sounding R&B record.
Easy Snapping is definitely a blues influenced ska record. Okay, it's Sunday morning. It's about 10.30, 10.39 to be exact. Um, very quick trip to New Orleans. Dinner party was fun. Um, Kateri aboard, uh, retired Cajun DJ at a Slidell, uh, cooked a bunch of food. Her husband Charles was there. He's a co-host of the Cajun Music Show on WWOZ, uh, as well as Jim, Jim Hobbs, who's the other co-host, and his wife Jolie. Jim's wife Jolie turned out uh, is an Arsenault, or her maiden name was Arsenault. And um, yeah, it turned out we figured out pretty quickly how closely we're related. Uh, and she knows my aunt, my aunt Karen. Um, anyway, very quick trip. Um, now I'm driving across the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, which is this giant bridge that goes for over 20 miles, 26 miles, something like that, um, across a lake. It feels like you're driving across an ocean because it's so big. Um, I'm on my way to Camp Moore, which is the Confederate Memorial Site near Kentwood. And um, anyway, I'm just gonna stop there, take a couple pictures. Oh, as I'm driving across the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, I will be eating a Popeye's chicken sandwich, um, which feels very apropos. Anyway, um, inshallah, I will not break down as I'm driving across this giant ocean-sized lake. Okay, I'm leaving Kentwood now. A little bit frustrated, but I guess it was a good story, uh, no matter what. Britney Spears is from Kentwood. On the internet, I see signs that say, you know, welcome to Kentwood. Then underneath, there's like a smaller sign, home of Britney Spears. Of course, as there would be, if you were a super small town, and you know, you had this very famous person, of course, you'd celebrate it. Um, but I couldn't find it. I think I came into Kentwood from maybe a, a back way or an unusual way. It was because I was coming from the Camp Moore uh, Confederate Memorial thing there. Um, so I didn't see it and I drove around and I asked someone at a convenience store. Now this woman seemed to know exactly what I was looking for. Either she sent me on a wild goose chase or I misunderstood her. Both things are possible, right? But I was on this gravel road outside of town getting more and more remote. I said, this possibly cannot be right. So I go back into town, find the History Museum. There's a little tiny History Museum, Kentwood. They've got in a window concert poster for Britney Spears from 2009, super faded, like it's been there since 2009. Uh, and then I asked another convenience store, a gas station, and a grocery store, and none of the other people knew anything what I was talking about. They got very excited. Yeah, Britney Spears is from here. And I was like, isn't there a sign, home of Britney Spears, welcome to the home of Britney Spears, birthplace of Britney Spears? No, no idea what I'm talking about, no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, so I do need to have a six hour drive here to Houston, so I just got on the road, drive to Houston. Um, a little frustrated that I didn't see the sign, but you know, my love for Britney Spears is not that much. It's more of just sort of like a kitsch appreciation. Anyway, six hours to Houston, that's it. And then fly back to San Diego tomorrow. 80183, Sawa Medical Center, our family healing yours. This cancer health information has been brought to you by Savoy Medical Center and Louisiana Proud KBON 101.1. Hey, Todd Artigo here, sitting with my friend Sterling Burley Jr. from the Vilpat area. You know him as TKJ on K-Ball. But Todd, you know him from Los de Belanek. Yeah, I know that, but T, I understand you recently hired Rapid Robert Tree Service to do some tree cleanup and maintenance around your home. I said, bien, that's right, and boy, was I pleased. Well, how's that? Tell us about it. Well, I had noticed the trees I planted around my maison there, they was getting kind of tall, and they grew up a lot over the years, and I didn't have the time or the tools or really the own V to trim those trees. So I called Rapid Robert Tree Service out at Church Point. So after Rapid Robert Tree Service left, you got your rake and your shovel and your wheelbarrow and you cleaned up all the tree debris? Oh, me pee. No, me didn't. I didn't have nothing to do there. They did everything for me. The be pro. All I did was go fix me a little teeth Fred and sit on my swing and admire the newly trimmed trees and how good my place looked. AC Rapid Robert Pupalfar, Miss Appabide, famous me. Experienced, licensed, fully insured, free estimates. Call the professionals at Rapid Robert Tree Service at 337-407 2936. That's 407 2936.